representation of women always needing to be saved by men. And, you know, what is that about? That's gatekeepers mm -hmm. deciding that that's what we need to see. Yeah. And it's time to change that. Mm -hmm. Please. Action! Five on the set. Watching the movie for the first time and seeing the different women occupy the different space and be the, their full selves and interacting with each other, not with competition, but with, um, with agency, really, and um, their, 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 their personal motivations being what leads them forward. They're not there for, they were not eye candy, although we do look pretty damn fly, <laughs> I must say. You get to decide what kind of king you are going to be. Please. It was such a breath of fresh air, you know, to see um, men and women um, occupying their, just living in their power without one dwarfing the other. Mm -hmm. And to me, it was just like a, a um, reflective of the fact that sexism is learned at the end of the day and everything that comes with it, you know. And so to see an example of a society that's not, that doesn't have that, the gender is not the fabric um, with which society is built necessarily, you know, that it's functioning um, wholesomely, you know. The delineations of sex are not that um, oppressive and that's really cool and it's possible. But not only does he respect Shuri, he respects all the women. He respects his mother, he respects his, 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 his general, you know what I mean? And, and his and is the lady that he's, he's pursuing and knowing that she has her own career and she has her own thing that she's doing. But he has a lot of respect and that's something that's refreshing to see that he holds his own as a man and as a king, but he, he respects everybody's um, section and what they're doing um, throughout the whole movie. I, I, it, it's a nation that respects and reveres women, you know, in, and that they think of, it's not just queen, it's queen mother, and mother is nurturer. She's, you know, she's the first teacher. There's co-leadership and, and co-respect, mutual respect between the two, and it, it, it filters down. But I think that one of the most important things about the thing about the movie is that it, the Black Panther is surrounded by all these incredibly powerful women. Am I right? Yeah. Strong women. Strong and powerful. <laughs> women who don't need a man to save them, I might add. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, what's, what's, I think what's really special about this film is that we see an idyllic society that has figured out its gender dynamics, where yeah. women are allowed to assume their power, realize their full potential, and the men are not threatened by it, yeah. you know, so mm -hmm. yeah. that they can be of support to each other, yeah. which is the world we want to see. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. yeah. Message that you would like young girls to take away? Yeah. That, uh, I think oh, absolutely. So. Yeah. I mean, what I love is that these women are also allowed to be fully feminine and fully fierce. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, and there's no question. There's no. Yeah. There's no compromise. Mm -hmm. There's not even a thought of compromise because yes. the, the country understands. In order to work at its absolute best, you want women yes. at their fullest potential, yes. and you celebrate that. So the idea that this might also the character Shuri in the movie, who's this amazing young yeah. scientist, and yeah. you know, mm -hmm. the idea that yeah. young girls out there could even in any way, shape, or form find more validation, more worth in understanding themselves, yeah. and knowledge that we can be fearless out there, and we should be, because it'll make the world a better place. Wow. I mean, that'll be everything for us to yeah. have that yeah. out there. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, Lupita, you grew up in Kenya. Danai, you grew up in Zimbabwe. Um, what does it mean to both of you to see African culture celebrated in this way? It's so liberating. I mean, <laughs> you know, we come from a, a continent of great wealth, Yes. but a continent that has been assaulted and abused and very exploited. often and exploited. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. And so oftentimes what, what colonialism did is that it re rewrote our history mm -hmm. and, you know, changed our narrative. Mm -hmm. And so our narrative, our global narrative is one of poverty and strife and the wealth of the continent is very seldom seen on such a yeah. global scale. Yeah. So what this film does really, it looks cool, it looks futuristic, but it's drawing from ancient cultures on the continent very specifically. Mm -hmm. The diversity in this film is specifically from the continent, yeah. inspired by the continent yeah. and like 
ex accelerated into a future. And Wakanda is special because it was never colonized. So what mm -hmm. we can see there for all of us, it's a reimagining of what would have been possible had Africa not been had, had Africa been allowed to realize itself for itself, mm -hmm. you know. Yes. Mm -hmm. And and that's a beautiful yeah. thing. To say. Lupita, uh, both you and I are incredibly accomplished actors and writers, but you recently said that, quote, I know this industry was not made for me, but I'm not going to apologize for being here. What did you mean by that? Well, I think, you know, the history of Hollywood didn't look like me. You know, the mm -hmm. people who are writing and uh, writing and, and creating films um, historically have not looked like me. You know, Sidney Poitier came and broke barriers mm -hmm. back in the day, and we are still breaking barriers. That's why we have a moment like this with Black Panther, the mm -hmm. first superhero and uh, first black superhero in in um, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And so I'm aware that most people in the industry don't look like me and may not be thinking mm -hmm. for me thinking about of me you. and yeah. thinking yeah. of me yeah. when they're writing this stuff. But what me and Danai uh, believe, I know, is that you work with what you have. Mm -hmm. And I've been given such an incredible platform with 12 Years a Slave and everything that has followed it. And I want to work with what I have. I work with my sister Danai. I work with Ryan Coogler. Mm -hmm. I make my way with what I have and I try and make more of it without having to apologize for the fact that the you know the status quo does not respond does not necessarily respond to me. Mm -hmm. The craziest thing is we're still having these conversations. I know. I know. You know I felt the I same know. way. Yeah. <laughs> you, know. You, know, you know, it's building up because you know you did you did that and that you were a yeah, great example right. of that. It's exactly. crazy. I mean, and, you um, open doors. Yeah. You completely open doors. And so seeing that is like we do have to build as we're standing on shoulders mm -hmm. and we have to keep building and we are capable of creating narrative and yes, bringing it are. forward. And like people say, well, what about will they let this happen again? I'm like, who's they? Mm -hmm. Who is they? We are they. Yes. We, 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 we are they rain. now. And we we are they black now. Movie. Black Panther is the first black superhero movie with a black director and a primarily black cast. Yeah. <laughs> something people would never have thought years ago. So <laughs> what? What is the message? What is, what is the message to the world with Black Panther? Uh, I think the message is that, is that, it, that it works to have, you know, a black cast. Um, it, it, that it works. You know, you know it, 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 it works that, that, I, that our stories can resonate not just in this country but throughout the world. We've been on a tour showing the movie uh, we went to South Korea just before the Olympics came, and they're excited. We were like the Beatles yeah. Yeah. when wow. we showed up. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm, I'm not playing. It was it, yeah. was, it was amazing. Enjoy it. Yeah, and and in London, so it's that 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 um, idea that a black movie can't travel. That's that's been said mm -hmm. very often. Mm -hmm. um, and when when studios talk about funding movies, mm -hmm. they will make that statement that you know yeah. we don't sell overseas. Yeah. Uh, it's the exact opposite. It, yeah. it seems to be. Yes. You know? mm -hmm. Don't make That's more of them. That's exciting. Yeah. Yes. Don't make more of them now. They yeah. will. See what they should. And, I, and people are saying, um, calling Black Panther revolutionary, the most woke superhero film to date. Right. Um, and especially at a time when our president makes derogatory comments about non-white countries and women. Mm. Do you think um, that that's accurate, that this is a revolutionary film? Uh, it, it, it unfortunately it is, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I would say because, you know, this movie, Wakanda is advanced. They're, yes. the, they're they're not just the most technologically advanced nation on the planet. They're the most spiritually advanced in some ways. They they're ahead of the rest of the world because because they haven't co colonization mm -hmm. um, and slavery enslaves everybody. Mm -hmm. It doesn't just enslave the African. It enslaves everybody. Everybody is, is bound by the limitations of those systems. Mm -hmm. And so because they're not up under that, mm -hmm. they, they, they're, okay, they're okay with the idea of seeing male and female on the same level. Like, my right. sister can challenge for the throne. Right. You know, so 
that concept is what you see in the movie. You see different types of yeah. beautiful women in the movie. Um, you know, Denai, Lupita, Angela, and, oh. um, and Letitia all are different types of women. So even the Wonder Woman, was that was a that was a great conversation that was started. I don't know if I'm wrong for saying a DC um, comic right now, <laughs> but but this advances that because you don't have just one image of what beauty and strength is. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's movie. so funny, Chadwick, because what I love is that communities all over are taking tons of children mm -hmm. to see this movie. It's so important to take these little brown girls and boys to see a superhero that, that you know, it looks like them. And there is a, a video that has gone viral oh, I know uh, when the kids <laughs> broke out dancing, when they found out that they were being taken to oh, see Black Panther. Yeah. You guys got to see this video. Yeah, yeah. Take a look. I never knew. You know, we, sh we shouldn't see color, but, but these children see the lack of representation of themselves. Right. So to see a video like that of the pure joy, what, what does that do to you? <laughs> oh, man, that's why you do this. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the reason why you, for me, it's, the, it's, it's one of the reasons why I, I, I get up in the morning and I do what I do. AK Production.